How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another Ark Let's Build video. And in today's video, we're gonna be building this modern house that you see in front of you now. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your Ark. And for a full list of building materials you will need as well as the map cords where I built this, make sure you check out the description below. And also guys, all of the paint and decorations on this build was done by You Were A Monkey. So I'm gonna leave a link to her channel in the description as well as in a comment. Make sure you guys go check out her channel and show her some love for all of her hard work on this build. But anyways guys, with all of that said, I just wanna tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video. And let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so the first thing to do is lay out our foundation. So we're gonna start off by placing a line of 10 metal foundations. Then we'll come over here to the side of this and we're gonna go one foundation in, so right here, and place a line of eight stone foundations. Now you can go ahead and place another line of eight in front of that. Now we're gonna head over here to the back and we're gonna count again one foundation in and then right here we're gonna add another metal. Then we're gonna count two more foundations and then on this third one, we'll place another metal, so leaving a space of two between them. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out a thatch foundation right here and place two down. We're just using these as spacers. Go ahead and place a metal foundation right here. Do this again, two thatch and then one more metal. And then again right here, we'll place one thatch on this side and one more metal. Next, over here on our other metal foundation, we're again gonna place two more thatch, another metal, two more thatch, and then another metal. Then we will come to the front where we have the stone and we're going to start off by placing three thatch, and then a metal. Then we'll place one thatch out in front of it, another metal, we'll place two thatch right here to the side of that one, another metal, and then one more thatch right here, and one more metal foundation. So now you can just go ahead and first pick up or destroy all of those thatch foundations, and then switch all of your stone and metal foundations to block. Next, we're gonna go ahead and place some metal pillars. So starting off here on the front where we have this long strip of foundations, we will place a wooden fence foundation at the front of it. And then on each side of that fence foundation, we are going to snap eight high metal pillars. Now we will just head to the back side of this strip and do the exact same thing here on this back foundation. Next over here on this inside stone foundation, we'll place another wooden fence foundation and then on this inside corner, we will place six more metal pillars. Now we're going to head to this backmost metal foundation right here and place a wooden fence foundation on the inside right there. And on this snap point right here, we're going to add six more metal pillars. Next on this foundation right here, we will place another wooden fence foundation and this time on this corner, we're going to add seven metal pillars. We'll do the same thing on this foundation, place a wooden fence foundation right here. And then on this corner, add seven more metal pillars. And then lastly, we're gonna head to our front and on this second foundation in right here, we're gonna come to this side over here and place a wooden fence foundation. And then on this corner right here, we will add six more metal pillars. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start placing our stone pillars. So first right here on the front on this corner stone foundation, we will place a wooden fence foundation here on the side. On the front corner, we're going to go ahead and add two stone pillars. And then right here on the other side of that fence foundation, we are going to add six stone pillars. Now we're gonna to head to the back side and place another wooden fence foundation right here on this stone foundation. And on the corner, we're just going to add one stone pillar. 
Now here on the outside of that long metal foundation, we're gonna go ahead in here and get out a wooden fence foundation. And we're gonna count one, two, three foundations and then come to the fourth one and place that down. Go ahead and add one on the next three spots. Then we'll go ahead and get out a wooden pillar and we're gonna place one on each snap point for these fence foundations. So just like this, now we're gonna go ahead and add seven more to each of these to get them eight high in total height. So it should look like this now. So now we're gonna head to the other side of that metal foundation and just do the exact same thing. Place our four wooden fence foundations and then on each snap point, go ahead and add eight high wooden pillars. Next, we are going to build up this large wall here on the left side. So first, right here between these two metal pillars, we're gonna go ahead and place eight high metal walls. Then here on the inside, on these next three spots before we get to the wood, we're gonna go ahead and place three high metal walls. Do the same thing on the outside over here. And then go ahead and repeat the entire process here on the back side. Then between each of these wooden pillars, we're going to go ahead and place seven high metal walls. And just go ahead and repeat this on the outside as well. All right, now we're gonna head in here where we have these metal walls with the opening on top. And we're gonna go ahead and place a thatch ceiling right here in front of each of these. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden wall and we're gonna rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system and place it down just like this. Go ahead and add four more on top to get us five high into the top of our pillar. And then do the same thing here in the next two spots. Now you can go ahead and pick up or destroy that thatch and head to the outside of, the, of this wall over here and do the exact same thing. And then we will also head to the back side of the wall over here and do the same thing on both sides. Now we're gonna head inside right here to where we have the pillars in the middle and the metal walls. And here on the inside where we have these stone foundations, we don't need to use thatch ceilings. We're just gonna go ahead and get out a wooden door frame. And we are again gonna rotate through the snap points until we have this one right here, placing on the stone foundation. And then go ahead and add six more on top of that. Again, make sure you're rotating the snap point so it's placing like this. And we're just gonna place six more so that we have seven high in total. And then once you reach the top right here, we're gonna go ahead and get out another wooden wall. Again, rotate the snap point and place it just like this. So now go ahead and do this in the other three spots. And then we are also gonna to head to the outside of the wall over here. And we're just gonna do the same thing on this side, except for we are gonna start off with a thatch ceiling down here at the bottom. And then again, go ahead and get out your wooden door frame and rotate through the snap point and place it down like this on the thatch ceiling. And then just do the exact same thing we did on the inside.
And then once you have that done, you can just go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. Now at the very top of that wall, we're just gonna go ahead and fill this in with metal ceilings. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start adding our first layer of walls. So we're gonna head in here to where we have the stone foundations. And here on the side in these first four spots, we're just gonna go ahead and add two high stone walls. Then in these next two spots, we'll place a stone door frame, fill that in with a reinforced door and add a stone wall on top. And then go ahead and place a stone stair in front of that. Then on these last four spots going around the back, we'll go ahead and add two high stone walls again. Now on these two metal foundations that we have right here next to this, we're just gonna go ahead and place two high metal walls on the remaining three sides on both of these. Now we will go ahead and start working on the rest of these metal foundations. So starting off here on this second one that has the metal pillar on it, on this side right here, we're gonna add three high metal walls. We'll do that again right here and again right here. And then on this last side where the fence foundation is, we're just gonna make two high metal walls. Now on this very next foundation right here, on this side, we will place two high metal walls again. And on the other three sides, we will do three high. On the next foundation over from that, we'll again place three high metal walls right here. Do that again right here and again right here. And then again on the side with the fence foundation, we will just place two high metal walls. Now on the very next one, again where the fence foundation is, we will place two high metal walls and then three high on the remaining sides. And now on these remaining five metal foundations that we have, we're just gonna go ahead and build three high metal walls on all four sides of each of these. Now we're gonna go ahead and start placing some ceilings to create the actual floor for our build. So the first one we're gonna do is come in here to where we have the stone foundations and right here in line with that first striped wall, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone ceiling right here and then one more over connecting it. Then we will go ahead and drop stone stairs down from each of those. Do that one more time right here and then one more time on the foundation to the ground. Now we're just going to go ahead and fill in the remaining area here on the stone portion with stone ceilings. We'll take another line of stone ceilings going across this area right here. Stopping right here at the pillar. We'll add one more line in front of that. Now we're going to go ahead and attach one right here and then place another one right here. Go ahead and place another one right here attach one to the metal and place another one right here. Go ahead and place one more between these two metal on each side and then go ahead and attach these ones. Now we'll go ahead and fill in between these two and then right here between these two where we have that opening, we're gonna go ahead and place a metal ceiling instead. We'll go ahead and add stone ceilings on each of these spots, fill them in right here between these two and then go ahead and add another one attached to this metal and just kind of keep filling it in. Then right here between these two, we're going to use metal ceilings again. We'll add a stone right here, two more right here, another one on this metal and this metal, and then fill in right here. And then again, between the two pillars, we're gonna go ahead and use metal. And then here, we'll just go ahead and fill in the remaining portions right here with stone ceilings. So two right here, another one right here, one more between each of these and then one more right here and we'll just kind of zoom out real quick and just give you an idea of what that looks like when it's all done so you can see we have mostly stone and then just a few portions of metal there on that other side next we're going to go ahead and hang some walls down from these ceilings so starting off here on the front where we have these stone ceilings we're going to hang down a stone wall from each of these then right here we're going to go ahead and hang down a metal wall We'll do the same thing here on these two spots on the front. 
as well as each spot here on the side. Here on the back, we're gonna go ahead and hang down a stone wall from these two stone ceilings. We'll hang down a metal wall from this metal ceiling. And then coming over here to this side, we will hang down a stone wall from each of these stone ceilings. All right, now we're gonna build up that large metal divider that goes down the middle of the build. So starting off here on this column that we've kind of built where the pillar is, we're gonna go ahead and add three more metal walls to each side that already has a metal wall. We'll go ahead and do that same thing right here on this one in the middle. And then we will also do that on these two back here on the back side. Now continuing right here on the back side where we have this metal ceiling, we're gonna go ahead and place four high metal walls on this spot as well as on the other side of it. And then we're gonna leave this spot right here open. We're gonna come over here where we have this opening and add four more metal walls on each of these stone ceilings. And then just go around to the other side of that and do the same thing over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and start building up the walls here on this portion. So first, right here on the very front, we're gonna go ahead and add three high greenhouse walls to these three ceilings. Then on top of those, we'll just go ahead and place one stone wall on each. Now we're gonna come around to this side and right here, we're gonna go ahead and add four high stone walls. In the very next spot, we'll place a stone door frame, followed by a reinforced door and then three more stone walls. We'll go ahead and kind of turn this corner and right here in this spot, we'll add four more stone walls. Now we're gonna come inside of that and again, kind of turn the corner so that you're placing it right here. And what we need to do is rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you have it facing like this and go ahead and add four high of those. Go ahead and do that in the next two spots as well. We'll come and rotate and come to this side right here. And again, we're going to need to rotate the wall around so that it's facing like this. And this one, we're just gonna build three high. Now we're gonna to come to the very back right here. And in these first two spots, we're gonna build four high stone walls. In the next two spots, we're gonna do one stone wall, followed by two greenhouse walls on each one, followed by one stone wall. And then in the last spot, we'll just go ahead and again, place four high stone walls. All right, so next we're gonna to come to this very back corner and we're gonna go ahead and add a stone ceiling right here. Then you can go ahead and drop a stone stair down from that at the front, just like this. Go ahead and place another stone stair, followed by another one, and then one more just to get us down to right here. So now that we have access to the roof, we're gonna go up here and we're just gonna go ahead and fill in this portion with stone ceilings. And then once you have this portion filled in, we're actually gonna go back inside here where we have this kind of drop down by our stair. We're gonna go ahead and drop one stone wall right here and just one more right here. Make sure again that you're rotating the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it faces in the same direction as the other one, just to kind of close that area in a little bit. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start building up these other metal columns that we have over here. So starting off on this one right here, we're gonna add three more metal walls to each side of it. We'll do the same thing for this one right here in the front corner. And then for our remaining three along this side, we're actually gonna go ahead and add four walls to each side of it. Now we're gonna go ahead and start building up the walls for this side over here. So the first thing we'll do is head in here between these two metal columns, and we're gonna place a greenhouse double door frame right here, filling that in with a greenhouse double door. Then we're gonna place three greenhouse walls on top and top it off up here with a stone wall. 
on this next spot, we're gonna start off with four greenhouse walls and then a stone wall on the very top, just like that. We're gonna come around the sides and we're gonna go one in right here and we'll start off with a stone wall on each of these followed by three greenhouse walls on each and then a stone wall to finish it off on the top. We'll do the same thing right here in this spot. And we'll also go ahead and do the same thing here on the back side. Now back up on top on our roof, we're gonna come in here between where we have these two metal sections and add another stone wall between them in each spot, just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and kind of line this outside wall with one more metal wall, just going all the way across. And stopping right there for now. Now go ahead here in the middle and add a wooden stair that's gonna help us get up to this top portion. And we're just gonna fill in this center portion right here with stone ceilings. And then you can also fill in right here between these two metal portions with a metal ceiling, just like this. Do that again right here. And then head to the front of our build. And where we have them drop down one more, we're gonna go ahead and place a metal ceiling connecting it over just like that. And do that one more time right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish off these two large metal columns that we're working on. So first we're gonna to come to kind of to the front of our build and we're going to add two high metal walls going all the way around this portion right here. Then just go ahead and continue taking a one more wall all the way across the back side or the side that's farthest from us. Go ahead and add another one right here and then add one more going all the way around the front side or the side that's closest to us. Then we will go ahead and use another wooden stair to get us up to the top of that portion. And we're just gonna go ahead and fill this in with metal ceilings. You can go ahead back down and pick up or destroy this stair. Now we're gonna come over here again to this portion right here and add two more metal walls on each of these. Now we'll go ahead and head back down. You can now pick up or destroy this stair as well. And we're just gonna continue with the back side first or the side that's farthest from us, adding one more metal wall to each of these. Now, when we get right here, you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system to make sure you're getting that light blue side of the metal wall facing us. Now go ahead and just continue here on the front or the side that's closest to us adding two metal walls in each spot to get us to the same level. And now again, just go ahead and drop down two wooden stairs so we can get up there and then go ahead and fill this portion in also with metal ceilings. And then once you have all of that filled in, just go ahead back down and pick up or destroy these two wooden stairs. Now we're gonna go ahead and create that little overhang that hangs over our door. So the first thing we're gonna do is come one wall down from the top here and add two stone ceilings just like this. Go ahead and place a stone wall going all the way around that, so three in total. And then just go ahead and close in the top with stone ceilings. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start adding some metal railings. So first here on our front side balcony, we'll add one right here on the side. We'll add two right here on the front, and we will add one more here on this side as well. Then we're gonna go to the top of this portion right here and add four coming across the front. We'll go ahead and take them all the way across here until we reach where our stair comes up. Then we're gonna leave this space open and just go ahead and take them across the back as well. All right, so our last step is going to be to add some more detail in front of our windows. Now this is a really risky step where you could accidentally destroy the greenhouse walls, which can obviously be costly, but I would definitely recommend at least watching what I'm doing and giving it a try as it can add a lot of great detail to our windows. So starting off here where we have these three by three greenhouse walls right here, we're gonna place a thatch ceiling down in front of each of them just like this. 
Then you're going to go ahead and get out a metal double door frame and you're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get this green snap point right here. Go ahead and place one of those on each of these. Then you can go ahead and pick up or destroy the thatch. And now we're just going to go ahead and add two more on top of each one. Just again, being careful to make sure you're getting that green snap point. So there we go. Now we're going to head over here to where we have this two by four. And we're going to do the same thing, except for we won't need thatch ceilings this time. All right, so now we're going to head around to our side over here where we have these windows and we're going to go ahead and place a thatch ceiling just above the stone wall. Now for these ones, we're going to get out a stone door frame and we are again going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system to get this snap point right here. And then we are actually going to flip the door frame around again using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's placing like this. Go ahead and do that on the other one as well. Rotate the snap point and then flip it. Now we're going to go ahead and place two more on top of each of those. Just be very careful that you are getting that most forward snap point that's placing on the door frame below it and not destroying the greenhouse. So there we go. If we pick these up real quick, I'll show you what it looks like. So it looks like that now it's a little more slimmed down windows. We'll go ahead and do that right here as well. And then we're going to go ahead around to the backside and do that right here as well. So place it just below the greenhouse and do the same thing we've just been doing. Go ahead and rotate the snap point and then flip it and then just continue stacking them up. And then we are going to do the same method one more time on these two windows right here. And so there we go. We'll pick these up and that'll do it for the details on our windows. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now, as always, your monkey is going to come in here and hook us up with an awesome paint scheme and some really great decorations. I'm really excited to see what she comes up with for this one. So guys, stick around with me for one more second and I will show you what she comes up with. All right, guys, so like I said, you were monkey has came in and hooked us up with a great paint scheme and some awesome decorations. So I'm going to real quickly kind of walk you through what she's done. But again, make sure you go check out her channel for a full in-depth tour of all of her decorations. She actually has some live streams and everything from when she did the decorations. So first things first here on the outside with the paint scheme. Now, I was a little bit of a stickler. I asked her to keep it a little more conservative on the paint scheme. So you can see she hooked us up with some black for all of our metal and greenhouse. And then she just added a little bit of detail here on our pillars and whatnot, creating that kind of orangish brown color. And then also over here on our wooden section on the side, giving just a little bit of color to that as well. You can see here on the outside up top, she's kind of hooked us up with an outside dining area up here. A lot of plants, a lot of different cool looking tables and whatnot and a bar area. She's also hooked us up with the patio seats over here in front of this exit on our bedroom area and some really great combination of plants planted over here along our side windows. We'll go ahead and head inside now and show you what she's done on the inside. So as we come up the stairs and head in here, you can see when we first come in, it's sort of like a living room area. So she's given us a big TV and some great seating and whatnot. And then also these really cool spherical kind of light fixtures hanging above our living room area. She's built this really awesome spiral crop plot using the new tech crop plot and just hooked us up with some great seating areas, some fridges over here, and then obviously like a bar or kind of kitchen area over here. Again, using the new stuff from the new DLC. Heading into the bedroom, we've got our security console here acting as a computer, a mannequin, all of the stuff from the new DLC here in our bedroom and some great little paintings here on the wall. And then she's also kind of turned this area over here into a bathroom. So we have a shower, kind of have our sink area, and then also a toilet in here. And then the only other thing she did, well, I don't want to say the only other thing she did a lot, but if you come down here, she actually used this area down here as kind of like a crafting area. So you can see we have all of our essential crafting stuff down here, and we have a bunch of dedicated storage to make use of this area down here. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Leave me some feedback in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. 
Also guys, once again, make sure you go check out You Were a Monkey's channel and show her some love for all of her hard work on this build. And also check out the description below for a link to my Twitter as well as my Discord where you can stay up to date with me and hang out with me and all of my friends. But anyways guys, with all of that said, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.